I have this rather large and unruly Monstera Deliciosa, and I just love it. I really want to get it under control and maybe get it climbing. I was just going to buy a pole, but I couldn't find one locally, and I didn't feel like risking ordering online and not getting what I wanted. So today, I'm going to try my hand at making a moss pole. I've never done this before. One would think, hey, let's try this out before you do a video, but not me. Nothing like trial by fire. So here we go. So the supplies you're going to need is a PVC pipe. I've marked a spot here where I think I want to start my moss. I just kind of held it up next to the pot to see how tall it was. You'll need some sphagnum, sphagnum moss, sphagnum moss, yeah. And some kind of tie. So I'm gonna use fishing line. You could also use um, some kind of a rope or something, um, it's up to you. First, you'll wanna start by soaking your sphagnum moss. Now, I didn't realize how long it was gonna take the moss to absorb the water. I mean, it, I had to soak it for a good 15, 20 minutes, so just, plan for that when you're making your pull that it's going to take a while for the sphagnum moss to become um, moist enough to put around your pole. Now just for starters I'm just going to tie my rope around my pole in just a standard knot. I don't really know any fancy knots so I'm just going to tie it like a regular old knot. Maybe a couple times just to reinforce it so it doesn't come loose. Next, I'm just going to wring out some of my moss. Get the excess water out of there, but you know, still leaving it damp and pliable. form it around my pole, kind of making a ball. After I've got it around the pole, I'm just going to use my fishing line and wrap it. Wrap it around nice and tight. I mean, some of the moss is going to fall off, that's okay. In hindsight, I'm kind of wishing I would have waited till spring and done this outside because I have a feeling that this is going to get very messy. So you just kind of keep working the moss around the pole. Ooh, what's that? Hard piece. Ugh. Just a warning, some of the moss is a little sharp, so you may want to consider using gloves. It also dries your hands out a lot. Um, that's just something to consider. I decided to just do it barehanded. It's easier to work with, but I did get poked a couple times with weird little stickers inside the moss. Let's speed this up a little bit. Some of the moss comes packed in large clumps. You just kind of want to break it up. I wish I would have broken those um, first few pieces up a little bit more because it got a little thick at the bottom, but um, it pulls apart pretty easily, so you can kind of thin it out as you're working. So 
So I've been working on my moss pole for probably about 20, 25 minutes, and we're getting close to the end. This PVC was one inch by about 60 inches, so it's a very long pole, but you can buy this type of PVC in a wide range of sizes. So just choose what works best for your pot and your plant. I'm just gonna tie it off here at the end. Add a um, top piece and we're just about done. Just gonna thread the needle, do a little knot, tie off. It holds together pretty well. There you have it, my gigantic moss pole. So I dug down in a spot where I didn't think there were very many roots, put the pole in. It didn't go all the way down, um, but that's okay. I put a little topsoil in to sturdy the pole so that I didn't have to worry about it falling over. It's rather large, so I'm either going to cut off the excess off the bottom, or I might just wrap that with extra moss and, um, and call it good. Thank you so much for checking out my moss pole tutorial today. If you have some tips or any comments on how to get a monstera to climb, please leave them in the comment section. I would love to learn anything I can about this process. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and plant trials. For more information about Suburban Sill and my plant collection, visit SuburbanSill.com and follow along on Instagram at SuburbanSill for daily updates and photos. We'll see you next time.